Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. We are a little zoomed in today because I'm showing you how to do this eye look. Today I have got a collab with a gorgeous fellow YouTuber. I will link her video down below and it should be up same as mine today um, but it might be up a little bit later so I will put that in the description as soon as it's available. And what we decided to do was a little bit of a holiday look from the gorgeous Jaclyn Hill palette. Now I'm sure y'all have realized this palette is super versatile. You can make a million different looks out of it, but what I did today was kind of my everyday look. You know, like if I'm in a hurry, I do like a toned down version of this. So I wanted to show y'all how I do my everyday makeup, but it's a little more dramatic than what I wear every day, because obviously, I don't wear lashes every day <clears throat> and I don't do a lip this dark but I wanted to do a darker kind of holiday vibe and uh, yeah so this is my look we are gonna go into voiceover mode so y'all can see how I got this done and uh, subscribe Ooh, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already that button is right below me and uh, yeah let's get started with this tutorial Okay guys, so first we're going to go into my favorite tan transition shade and we're just going to take this and put it all over the crease. I'm using this on a Morphe, oh, maybe that's my 441 I believe, and that is my favorite brush to use in my crease. I adore the white hairs on it. They just seem to work so much better. So then I'm going to go into this light kind of medium brown shade and just put that all in my crease as well, kind of in the same area where I put the tan color, just to deepen up my crease. This is what I do basically every day just to give me a little bit of dimension and a, a little bit of dramatics, I guess you could say, in my everyday look. So once that's blended out, I'm going to take this almost brown burgundy color and I'm going to put it in my crease a little bit lower and just try to blend it into the tan and the brown. And when you're doing this, you want to be sure you really get those colors blended together so you don't get any super harsh lines and so everything makes a little more sense and you can almost get an ombre kind of gradient effect going and drag it down into the outer corner to connect everything around and get that smoked out look really going. So then I took this, uh, it's almost like an eggplant color but I took that and put it in my outer V, outer corner, and dragged a little bit of it about halfway through my crease. You'll see in a second. And I just did this to add that extra dark pop in the corner. And this does take a while to blend out. You have to work slow and build it up. That'll make it a lot easier because if you get it too dark, you can't really fix it, but you can always build up. So I just took what was left on that brush and swept it on my lower lash line just to make that smoked out a little bit but not too terribly much. Then I took the top corner shade, it is the most gorgeous white shimmer and just put it on my finger and put that all over the lid. I am very much a highlight kind of person when it comes to my face. And I don't like doing straight matte looks too often. So I always use this white shade just to give me a little bit of extra shimmer. Because I feel like it just adds something to the look. And even when I'm lazy and I'm in a hurry, it still makes me look a little fabulous. And I popped it in my inner corner. 
and then took it and put it on my brow bone a little bit as well just to add that shine got off camera put on my lashes mascara eyeliner and a gorgeous lippy if y'all are curious this is ColourPop Notion with ABH Nicole Guerrero Forever Lit Highlighter on top of it. Uh, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you like my model faces and I hope you enjoyed this collab. Don't forget to check the description for the other video and I'll see y'all later. Bye!